I'm going to jump right into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Adobe Photoshop. I have the version CC 2015. Also, I know that there are other apps that um, make this easier for you, but this is just for someone who kind of just got Photoshop and just wants to play around in it or whatever. Okay, so what you want to do, well, that's open, but you want to go into your folder where your pictures are, your two pictures are. I have my two pictures here. I'm going to right click and I'm on a Mac, of course, open with Photoshop. And then take my other picture, right click, open with Photoshop. It should be almost the same thing on the PC, honestly. I'm going to go to the picture that has the most negative space. This one does, and I can fit my face right over here. I'm going to go to this picture, the other picture. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to take my move tool. Before I do that, I'm going to quickly just play around with the image. You can do brightness, vibrant, saturation. I'm just going to go to levels. Show you what I'm doing. Not exactly sure what this is called, but I'm just kind of take away some of the brightness and just add a little bit more saturation to the picture. Click OK. Go see the other picture. Do the same thing. Image adjustments. Levels. Cool. That's cool enough for me. Mm, kind of lost my picture. OK, back to my picture. I'm going to take this picture, drag it on that to that one. I'm going to place it where I want to place it. I know I kind of want to have my face over here a little bit. Cool. Now I want to get rid of this glitter. I'm going to go to the side, get go to my quick selection tool, and just select the parts that I want to get rid of. I selected that like that. And then you want to go on your screen, on your keyboard and click delete. It's a little bit harder with curlier, curly hair because they're like excess little pieces. Um, I'm not going to do it perfectly just for this video. I don't want it to be too long. But if you wanted to really get in there and remove all these little pieces of glitter. Well, first, let me just deselect here. You just command T, zoom in and just really get in there and make this smaller so you can really get into those little parts okay now you want to go to the side go to your eraser tool I don't know why my eraser is so small okay never mind go to your eraser tool and just clean up the little stragglers Cool, you've combined your two images. I'm gonna show you how it actually looks. My thumbnail actually looks after I'm done. Then you want, if you wanna add text to this, very simple, go to the side, text. Well, I think I have some more stragglers. Yeah. So go to the text, you can choose whatever font you want. You can download fonts too, like the font.com or whatever. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna choose this one right here, it doesn't matter. I'm do all caps, birthday, get ready uh, with me. Exclamation point, and then I'm gonna if I want to make this bigger, shift and then drag the corners, place it wherever you want on the screen, like so. Now, if I wanted to edit the text in any way, I could select it, change the color. I'll make this one white. Doesn't matter, really. Select all of it, go up to layer, layer style, and you can add anything you want. I'm going to add a drop shadow just so that it sticks out. 
so I added the drop shadow here you can add anything else and click OK I'm gonna actually leave this as the red color so right here and click OK I'm gonna make this white or something just so it stands out and again I'm not like a Photoshop connoisseur I'm just learning and that's cool for me and again this is just a rough idea of how it looks I'm gonna show you how it, my thumbnail actually looks mm, this is my actual thumbnail right nope that's not it that's not it let's see if this is it yeah here's actually how my thumbnail looks as you can see I went in and like really tried to get the stragglers and made it nice that's how it looks yeah but for this video here's what I have and then I'm going to just to save it you can go well first let me just say you can flatten this if you were in, if you know for sure you're not gonna edit it you can flatten it and then all these layers on the side will turn into one background layer so again that would be layer flatten image and then they would all turn into a background image I guess that's some if you want to make it smaller a fall a smaller file now for this I'm just gonna leave it I'm gonna go to file save as you change it to whatever you want change the name to whatever you want um, change it to thumbnail thumbnail test put it in whatever folder you would like to put it in most importantly you want to change the format um, Photoshop will not upload a Photoshop not Photoshop YouTube will not upload a Photoshop file so you want to make sure that you change it to a picture file um, whether it's PNG or whatever I always use JPEG because that's just what I know do JPEG and then click save also well yeah and then here you just want to it's just asking you what quality you want it as like is it a small or large I just leave it at large and I click OK then you go to YouTube and mine is already on there but you just go here to change it and then it will open up your computer library and then you choose it and it will upload to there now some issues you can run into um if your thumbnail is too large if it's over two megabytes because youtube only allows you to have the maximum file size of two megabytes then it won't use it if it's like too small or something it won't it will look odd or it won't use it so you want to make sure your thumbnail is at least um, well is 1280 by 720 P that's 1280 by 720 pixels um, and how you change that in Photoshop I know this is kind of backwards but you go to new um, and right here is the width right here is the height you'll see it's 1280 by 720 pixels not inches not anything else so yeah that's the maximum like recommended size um, that YouTube recommends like for an HD like quality and look so yeah guys thank you so much for watching I hope you learned something <laughs> um, from this video uh, give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are not share this video so I can reach my goal of 1k and thank you so much for watching I will see you guys in the next one bye